Well, hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today, I wanna talk about the newest release from the House of Gucci, a flanker of Gucci Guilty. This is Gucci Guilty Love Edition Pour Femme. All right, so this was just released in my country. I wore this for like five times or maybe six times. Um, here's what the bottle looks like. Very pretty in this beautifully pink pastel color reminding me of <laughs> of easter and it's probably this is probably a release um for the upcoming valentine's day at least i'm guessing i haven't read anything about this fragrance i haven't looked at the notes either so i'll just give you guys my quick thoughts on this fragrance let's get this on a paper strip so I have this sample, but I have gone through two other samples of this already. <laughs> okay, so Gucci Guilty Love Edition Pour Femme. They also came out with a men's version in a green pastel bottle. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but Gucci Guilty is a weird fragrance. <laughs> yeah, I guess... I wore it so many times because I just found this fragrance to be like oddly... Well, weird, but oddly interesting at the same time. So this fragrance opens on my skin uh, with a very familiar smell. So this familiar smell is a smell that I smell, <laughs> a smell that I smell in a lot of women's new release perfumes. Uh, think of Scandal by Night, Elisa, Royale, Le Parfum Royale, um, Lady Million, Empire, uh, tank replay there you know this like coconutty fruity syrupy sweet uh, accord I haven't really given it a name yet but it's a very familiar smell but it's not exactly that same accord it's like they tweaked it a little and they added they took away some of the intensity and sweetness of it and they added some of these white florals the white florals in here to my nose remind me a little bit of glue, like the sour smell of glue. Also the texture of glue. And of course glue isn't a note in here, but I do find that with some white floral fragrances, sometimes it smells like glue to me. For example, a white patchouli by Tom Ford. I get this really weird, thick, pasty, dense, glue smell and <laughs> almost like a glue slash paint smell which is a smell that a lot of people enjoy um, but for me it's just I can't get that association out of my mind that it reminds me of glue and paint so think of those fragrances that I just mentioned tone down the sweetness of it take away the syrupiness of it and just subdue that smell, that sweet, coconutty, fruit salad smell, and add a little bit of Tom Ford white patchouli with that sour, thick, pasty, cement-like, gluey, <laughs> um, white floral smell. That's what this fragrance smells like on me. Um, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird, but not at the same time. I do. Pe I know. I do know people that like the smell of paint, and when I've worn this on my skin, especially more so in the dry down, um, yeah, I just can't think of anything else but paint. Also, in Ormond James Sampaquita, I also get that weird white floral, sweet and sourish paint smell. <laughs> And glue smell so that's pretty much what I get in this fragrance I don't get much more than that you guys of course when it dries down it gets less intense and then it does get a much sweeter on my skin which is nice the dry down is my favorite part of this fragrance um, but yeah I'm not I'm not crazy about this perfume at all I do think the bottle is super cute I'll read what it says here. Narcissus flower, musks, and patchouli. So I have no idea what Narcissus smells like, 
musks, hmm, I guess. <laughs> uh, patchouli, not really, I don't know. I don't really like paying too much attention to notes. Um, I'd rather just give you guys a feeling of what this scent, you know, brings up um, with me and my mind and my brain and if I can associate with anything else. Um, but yeah, I think that, uh, you know, now that I think of it, the, the other Gucci Guilty perfume, it was in that gold bottle. Was it just called Pour Femme? Gucci Guilty Pour Femme? Um, I can't remember, but I think you guys know what I mean. The, the Gucci Guilty flanker in the gold bottle. It also opened up with this interesting gluey accord, which is like a white floral scent um, that I actually enjoyed. <laughs> so I won't say I won't say I hate this fragrance. Definitely not. I don't hate it. I think I'm just like getting used to this strange white floral scent. Um, that I encounter sometimes in perfumes. Um, it's all right, it's all right. It's not something I'm going to be rushing out to buy anytime soon. Uh, maybe I just need to warm up to this accord, um, but it's, it's okay. It's worth a test for sure, especially if you enjoy the perfumes that I have just mentioned. Um, then you might wanna check it out for sure, but in any case, it's okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, so if you guys have tried Gucci Guilty Love Edition Pour Femme, love to hear your opinion on it. Please let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye-bye.